All right, are we all ready? This is the uh, defining moment. I uh, just ate some lollies. It's all good. First thing, template. Template. Template here. All right. So what I want to do is throw on the template. Get exactly where it needs to be. Mark those holes. Good line there, align the door. Move over. Always mark the biggest hole with the circle. Have you zoom? Oh, you can't zoom in on it, but you can see I've marked it up there. Hopefully, you can see that big circle there. Next stage. <coughs> now, this is um, a push punch. Just push it, and it just basically marks the hole where you've got to drill it. Um, you can use just the normal size, uh, the normal style center punch with a hammer. I prefer these type, um, and then we'll, uh, we'll start drilling. <laughs> All right, here we go. So line him up best you can. One click. Can click a couple of times if you want to. Just give that one another click. Next one. Gotta get in the center, guys, best you can. Safety glasses. Let's do it. Now I'll just give them a clean first. A bit... oh, excuse me, they're a bit yuck. I had a bit of a drink and settled myself in. Got some music playing in the background. Alright, let's get into it. drill bit finding that that center punch hole which, which helps a lot That's the initial start. All right, let's get the big boy out first. Uh, whew, here we go. Fresh battery in it. Uh, everything's been tightened up, talked up properly. I'll just show you it. All right, let's throw the battery in. All right, here we go. This is the big boy. Okay, this is, um, I guess this is the one that everyone that fears the most about. Um, we are fairly lucky just looking at the angle of the sheet metal, it's relatively flat, so you want to keep that drill and you want to really hang on to it and just take it in nice and easy, okay? Don't go slow, you've got to have a sort of medium to fast speed. Alright, let's do it. So line that up. Here we go. Make sure that. Put 
Phillips the Kyle Boy again. Oh, -ho. there we go. What we go? Done. That's the big boy. I won't need that anymore. <laughs> maybe someone else's vehicle. Uh, maybe Craig. If you need a 98 millimeter hole saw, I got one. <laughs> Craig Brooks. Shout out your way because uh, I think that's what we'll be using on uh, next job. So there we go. So that that's probably the worst bit. All right. So I'll set up the next drill and we'll do the step drills and uh, we'll go from there. All right. So I'll just grab the drill. Grab the step drill. Okay. I should have prepared myself a bit, but there we go. That's the UB step, step drill. So I believe I really need to measure. Hang on a sec. Uh, okay, so this is 4 mil to 12 mil all the way to the end. And looking at it, yeah, I think that's 12 mil. So I'm push, I'm taking it all the way to the end. Um, if you buy one that's a lot, a lot bigger, um, I specifically found this one. I remember now when I was at Bunnings. Um, this is made by Frost, and you can see on the packet there it says four mil, four mil to 12 mil. So we need to take it to 12 mil. Where's the safety glasses? All right, let's do it. Alright, here we go. Oh. Tighten them up a bit. Alright. Any clearance here? Didn't touch anything? Okay, next video, what I'll do is basically uh, run you through um, putting all the studs in the snorkel um, and then before I take the tape off, we'll just do a quick test fit, make sure it's all good, all lines up, I don't have to make any adjustments, otherwise I'll have to get the, um, uh, the reamer out and just clean it up a bit and then we'll clean through, give it a bit of a paint. Um, Probably about time to sit down and have at least one beer, okay? I wouldn't advise you to have beers doing this job, okay? Because uh, you really, really, really want to concentrate. All right, okay. Let's, uh, let's just get on to the next video. All righty, we're up to the next stage now. We're going to be uh, putting these studs in. So these are the studs that I was talking about. So it has an Allen key on top. You can see up there. All right, so you'll need a, oh, there we go. Four mil Allen key, all right? So you can put it in. So we want to put a bit of, just a little bit of Loctite on this side, all right? I'll just add a little bit on it. 
But I think I've got to hang on. I'll just give it a test here. I think I've got to cut the top. All right, one sec. Do a little knifey thing. Here we go. All right, we're good to go. All right, that's better. All right, here we go. So you just want to make sure you got the right end, which is the solid end. You don't need a lot of it. Something like that. All right. We just simply want to line them up nice and easy. Screw them in. Here's the Allen key. And just don't over tighten them, okay? So I just want to put a little force in. Okay, you got to remember, it's just plastic. It's just going into plastic. So we'll do that for the rest of them. Always pick the right end, of course. So I'm going to put that lid on that lock tight and that'll go on the fridge. Alright, so I'm just going to tighten these up. Like I said, don't over tighten these guys. Alright, so that's all good to go. So I'm going to test fit this on the car now, so I'll reset the camera and um, we'll get straight into it. Alright, here we go. Okay, already, I'm already finding a problem here. Okay, so the problem I've got here is that this goes in fine. I think the line looks fairly good, but just this stud here, the second last one, I think the last one, it's really hard to tell. Okay, I'm just going to get my light. Wherever I did for that. Okay. Missing my light, that's okay. Oh. Put it here for a reason. Here it is here. Alright, so let's have a look here. How far we're out. That's going to come back. So that, this one here needs to go that way a little bit. Um, one at the bottom here needs to come this way towards me. So I'm going to get the reamer out. And the rest, and this one here needs to come across this way a bit as well. So I've got a little bit of uh, stuff around to do. So um, and I'll take it back off. Rejig it and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, now I'm using what I call a reamer. 
So it's just on a drill. Um, you can use a hand file. This is just a lot, a lot quicker. Um, so I'm just going to adjust the holes a little bit. That's why we get those such big washers. Um, I think they're an M8 uh, stud that goes in there, but we're drilling out to M12. So technically, that gives me a fair bit of wriggle room. But uh, the template is out. Okay, I'll just throw it up there. It is out just a tiny bit. Test it, gonna retest it. Uh, where I put the big black thing in? Here it is. So it's just take a little bit out, okay? Test fit again, take it out, test fit again. So it, it does take a little bit of time. Should have brought my inspection camera to see what was going on. I can't even find the damn hole. Got to fill the hole. All right, there's one there. 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 No one's good. No one's good. Okay, it still feels a bit tight though. I think, I think we actually, ah, found the problem, found the problem. All right. I need to take a little bit around here for the big hole. All right. Let's fit it again. Okay, I'm going to pause it for a bit and uh, I'm just going to whittle with it a little bit longer. It's going to take a little bit longer than I thought, but um, when we get back to it, uh, it should be all good to go. Alright, I'm just going to pause it there. I was going to work with this bit longer. This is, this is why it takes three to four hours to do. Give yourself four hours to do this job because uh, there's a lot of muck around. Alright guys, I'll be back.